Quarterback Geno Smith is focused and ready for his first start in a Seahawks uniform. What's going on? Jackie Montgomery with your Seahawks Daily. Over the past seven years, Geno Smith hasn't had a lot of opportunities to get the start, playing behind some of the most durable quarterbacks in the game. Obviously, Russell Wilson here, and then before that, future Hall of Famers Eli Manning and Phillip Rivers. Now getting the chance to start in week six, he is eager and embracing the opportunity. It means everything, man. It means everything, but it's not about me. You know, it's about the team and, you know, going out there together, you know, all as one unit, um, the offense, the defense, special teams, coaching staff, front office, everybody. Um, it's about the team. It's about doing what's best for the team. It's not about me at all. Um, obviously, you know, it's a great opportunity, um, but, you know, my mindset is focused on winning and doing what's best for the team. Gino's a really good quarterback. He really throws the football. He's really athletic. He's tough. He's, he's got a great uh, calmness about him. Um, it, it's just he's the guy that guys respect. You know, they, they really respect him because of who he is as an athlete and a player and a teammate. And so when he gets the chance and he does something well, everybody's cheering for him, you know, and it's like anybody on the team. But Gino has it. He's got a way about him. He's an NFL quarterback, you know, first round pick and all that. He's had a lot of stuff he's been through and he has grown and, and, and learned and we're lucky to have them, you know, and, and the players feel that way too, I think, you know, and so they're, they're supporting them. They're cheering for him. We need him, you know, to come through when Russ is, Russ is out. And, and uh, we really don't have any thought that he's not going to. We Everybody believes that he's going to come through and do a great job, just like he showed the other night. So we need to support him and, and give him all the help that he needs by, by playing good ball around him and coaching real well around him and, and all that. And, and uh, uh, we'll be really excited to see what the outcome is. Three years in Seattle has been a tremendous asset for Smith's understanding of the team's offensive philosophy. And with Shane Waldron's offense, it's a perfect fit for Smith and his skill set. Um, you know, if you look at it, man, it's kind of similar to what I ran in college with just the spread and the quick game and getting the ball out fast, fast decisions, uh, the tempo. You know, those are things that, um, you know, we did when I was in college. And then um, he does a great job at, at calling plays that you like, you know, calling plays that, you know, work for you. And every quarterback's different. And so you'll see different calls sometimes when Russ is in there or if I'm in there or someone else is in there but you know he does a great job at just communicating letting us know what he wants and then you know we have to go out there and execute. Yeah, I think the the benefit of Geno is he's able to do uh, a lot of similar things uh, he's been you know in the league for a long time he had a, a successful uh, runs in different stages there and now uh, being able to be in the building here for a couple years in a row have some familiarity with some terms that have remained the same or some parts of the offense that have remained the same uh, you know he's, he's able to really come in and handle the full playbook and, and and everything that we've been doing uh, at, a, at a very similar level. So looking forward to working with them in that regard. He could command the offense. And what I mean by that is, regardless of what situation that we get in, we know that he can rally us together to be able to do what needs to be done. And so even though he might have not played, he's been behind Russell. He's watched Russell. He's learned from Russell. For how many years has he been here? like three, this is going on three, he's been right there listening to Russell, seeing how Russell does things to where he can add certain things into the element of his game. And so he might be doing a lot of stuff that's different from what he did before when he was with other teams, but he understands the offense. He understands how to make it work. He understands the checks that need to be made. He even has things that he might want to be able to do or things that he might see. And that's the part of football that some sometimes people miss. Just because you're, you're not playing physically doesn't mean you're not getting better mentally. And that's the thing that, you know, that I know about him is that he's gotten so much better mentally in the game of football, understanding how it goes. With just 12 starts and 12 appearances over the past seven years, Smith prepares the same way every week, whether he's starting or playing the role of backup. And we saw that preparation on display when he drove the field 98 yards to score against the Rams defense. His dedication to his craft is just one of the many ways he's earned the respect from his teammates. I just think the way um, the way Gino handles himself, um, the way Gino prepares. Um, if you would, if you walk into a room or you walk into the building and you're just flying a wall, you wouldn't think that Gino is not a starter, just by the way that he prepares. And so I think that's why it's so easy for us to rally behind him because we know that he's done the work. We know that he's prepared. He's right there with Russell, learning, and and doing all the things that he needs to do to be a great quarterback. And so. Um, here's his opportunity to do that, and, and everybody is extremely confident in, in what he can do, and, you know, he has our back for sure, and we have his. I think the great thing with Gino is he's, he's prepared every day that I've been around him as if he were the starter. And so when he was able to get in there and have his opportunity this past week, he was able to seamlessly uh, get in there, operate our offense, and, and 
and produce. And I think this week, no different. Now he's into that that starter's role, and he's done a great job of preparing the same. Uh, Russ has done an unbelievable job of supporting him along the way, just like Gino did uh, when he was playing uh, the backup role to, to Russ. So it's been a good seamless transition. Uh, obviously unfortunate for Russell and, and having the injury, but feel great about Gino, and especially with the ability and the rapport that those two guys have, that as far as our, our weekly rhythm, our, our how we're operating is, is so similar to how it was going on before. Only difference, obviously, with Gino getting, getting the reps and getting ready to take the lead in that role. Part of his preparation comes during the games, listening to the play calls and absorbing what the offense and defense is doing every single snap and discussing it with Russell Wilson on the sideline. This week, it will be more of the same, but the roles will be reversed. I keep my helmet on. I keep my helmet buckled up. You know, I, I mean, I've been doing that since I've been here and uh, I'm hearing the calls. I'm going through the reads, the checks and everything. And that just allows me, you know, when Russ comes back to the sideline to talk to him about what I saw. And we, you know, we talk back and forth about what we're seeing and then, you know, he he goes out there and he executes and so now you know the roles have been flipped a little bit um so you know i look forward to having him right there with me as well well if you're wondering who smith's backup is the seahawks currently have former marysville pilchuck high school standout jake luton and danny etling on the practice squad well kickoff is set for this sunday night at 5:20. you can watch it live on nbc